Mr. Speaker, we must tell our people right now, Mr. Speaker, that there are certain parts of this country which have been neglected, Mr. Speaker. The Western region has been neglected by this government. There is no single factory that is operating in Western region. The sugarcane farmers are languishing in abject poverty, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, it is true. We do not have a single industry to employ our youth in the entire Western region. Zoya Sugar Company is closed. Mumia Sugar Company is closed. Chemilil is closed. Moroni is closed, Mr. Speaker. Sony Sugar Company is closed. Webuye Pan Paper is closed, Mr. Speaker. We have not seen the enthusiasm of the government to sort out the problems in Western Province, Mr. Speaker. I want to see a day in this country, Mr. Speaker, when the sugarcane farmer in Kakamega is treated the same way with a coffee farmer in Central Province, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to see a day in this country when the sugarcane farmer or a maize farmer in Kakamega County is treated the same way with an Irish potato farmer in Kirinyaga County, Mr. Speaker. It is quite a shame that some of the communities in this country are not well represented in the public service. Creating the impression that, uh, Mr. Speaker, that uh, there is any preferential treatment of any farmers in uh, Mount Kenya region, Mr. Speaker, is wrong, Mr. Speaker. All the problems that, and challenges that the farmers of this country are facing are uniform. However, Bongoma Senator Moses Wetangula stood to support Cleophas Malala's claims. The Bible says a wicked man is always running even when he's not being chased. The distinguished senator for Kiambu knows very well that the inequality that we keep crying about is real. The senator for, for, for Gumbo, Bungoma is, is absolutely out of order, Mr. Speaker. He cannot pretend that he will come here and provide the same answer he's seeking for. Lastly, Mr. Speaker, you know, when the history of this country about marginalization is told, and I think that's the way it should be, the people of Mount Kenya region should speak. We should say why we live entirely in a whole region, in quarter by quarter uh, uh, portions of land. Well, people in this country, m m m Mr. Speaker, still live in thousands and thousands of acres, Mr. Land. If you want us to build a good country and a country for all of us, let us focus on how we are going to build a modern-day country with equal opportunities with our new devolution, our new constitution. And facts are facts, Senator Matangi. You will ask yourself today evening, who is the head of the executive? Who is the head of the Public uh, Parliamentary Service Commission? Who is the head of judiciary? Who is the chairman of KRA? Who is the Director General of KRA? Who is the Governor of CBK? Who is the KDF Chief General Staff? Who is the Attorney General? Where does he come from? Who is the Solicitor General? Who is the Head of Public Service? Who is the CS Public Service? Who is the Chairperson Public Service Commission? And who is the Ambassador of US? We are not, we cannot lie ourselves to ourselves, uh, Senator Matangi. In this country, we've been having recruitment, recruitment, for army officers across the country, across all districts. But since independence, we've not had our nyonyi heading the, the army. We've not had our fula heading the army. We've not had an IG called Walubengo. Mr. Speaker, is it that certain people from certain communities qualify more than others, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, I'm, 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 I'm unsettled when, when uh, again, you allow the senator for Kakamega on the same trajectory. And, and, and you alluded very well to what Senator Sakaja said. Now he starts naming names and saying we've never had. Why isn't he saying, why do we have a Lusaka as a, as a speaker of the Senate? Why? why? I mean, I mean he's, he's, why isn't he saying that, Mr. Speaker? You know, and, and if, he wants us, if, he wants us, if he wants to send us on the same journey, my friend, we can go and get a list of every person from the people you're naming who, serves in the, who has served and who is serving in the positions in Kenya. That narrative is a lost narrative. That's a narrative to divide the country. And that cannot be allowed in the modern day, day standard, Mr. Mr. Speaker. We are doing the wrong thing. 
He cannot be allowed to continue to tell this country that we are divided along, along uh, divisive lines of tribalism, Mr. Speaker, in modern-day Kenya. Order, order, and, then, order. and then he gets away in the Senate. He cannot. 